Let's have a reading text entitled Gabu by Carlos Angeles. Let's start with a motivational question. Have you ever walked by the seashore and contemplated about life? If yes, you can much relate to our reading text for today. Let's get to know first about the author of this reading text. He is Carlos A. Angeles. Born on May 25, 1921 in Tacloban City, Leyte. During his younger years, he graduated from Rizal High in 1938. He had also attended various universities in pre-med and pre-law. He has one semester at Ateneo de Manila, two at UP in 1941 and also a member of the UP Writers Club and one quarter at Central Luzon Colleges. 1958 to 1980, he became a guest of a U.S. State Department on a Smith Mond Leader Grant, a press assistant under the Garcia administration, a public relations manager of the Pan Am Airlines, and one of the board of directors of International Penn Philippine Chapter. Penn International is a worldwide association of writers founded in London in 1921 to promote friendship and intellectual cooperation among writers everywhere. His most famous work is A Stun of Jewels. It is a collection of 47 poems dedicated to his wife. It won first prize in the 1964 Carlos Palanca Memorial Awards for Literature. Also won the Republic Cultural Heritage Award for Literature. And he stayed in USA since 1978 with his family. The genre of this reading text is philosophical or existentialist. We all know that existentialism is a form of philosophical inquiry that explores the problem of a human existence and centers on the lived experience of the thinking, feeling, and acting individual. This reading text is in the form of lyric poem. It is a formal type of poetry which expresses personal emotions or feelings typically spoken in the first person. The persona in this reading text is probably someone on the beach at Gabu watching the rough sea contemplating about life. The central theme of this reading text is all about life can be restless like a sea, temporal but desires permanence. What is Gabu? A place in Ilocos Norte near the sea, often when typhoons occur, places like these are affected. Gabu by Carlos Angeles the battering restlessness of the sea insists a tidal fury upon the beach. At Gabu, and its pure consistency, havocs the wasteland, hard within its reach. Brutal, the day-long bashing of its heart, against the seascape where, for miles around, further than sight itself, the rock stones part, and drop into the elemental wound. The waste of centuries is gray and dead, and neutral where the sea has beached its brine, where the split salt of its heart lies spread among the dark habiliments of time. The vital splendor misses for here, at Gabu, where the ageless tide recourse, all the things forfeited are most loved and dear. It is the sea pursues a habit of shores, this time, let's unlock the meaning and imagery that we can find in each stanza. We have battering, a word which has a denotative meaning, which is destructive. Restlessness, same is true, which has a meaning of impermanent. Havox means destroy, while the word see is in connotation, which means life. This whole stanza means the sea is restless and can be destructive. In stanza number two, we do have words, brutal bashing, which means life's chaos, and elemental wound, meaning the depth of the sea. The whole stanza means that the turmoil of the sea is continuous and powerful. In the third stanza, we do have words like waste of centuries, where we are talking about the past, which is already dead. 
And the second line, I'm going to read it. And the neutral, where the sea has beached its brine. The meaning of that line is, once the sea touches the shore, it becomes neutral. And the third line, where the spilt salt of its heart lies spread. Meaning of spilt salt is bad luck. Where the saltiness of the sea is being described as the darkness or deadness. And this whole stanza means that time bears the spilt salt of life. In other words, time bears the bad luck of life. For the fourth stanza, vital splendor means that it is really necessary to have brilliance in life. And the word Mises, which has a denotative meaning, which is isn't there or absence. And the phrase all the things most loved and dear, which is the most important things in life. The meaning of this whole stanza, the brilliance necessary for life is not there because in life, even the most important things are lost. And the last line, it is the sea pursues a habit of shores. Meaning of the words, forfeited is lost, pursues constantly moving. We have the phrase, a habit of shores, meaning always towards the shore. And the word shores is a symbol of afterlife or eternal life. This last line tells us that waves show that the sea is constantly moving but always towards the shore. And that life is bounded by time, always moving, but what we all desire is a stable and eternal ending. And now, it's time for you to ponder through these questions. How is the sea described in the poem? Does this poem follow a rhyming scheme? Which one? How is the sea used as a metaphor for life? What are your insights from the poem? Now, if you have learned something from the poem, let's add some more. Life is fleeting, which means that life passes by very quickly, so you should live your life to the fullest. The only constant thing in life is change. Life can be rough like the sea. But if the sea finds its stability once it meets the shore, we hope that we can find it too. In summary, the reading text Gabu is about a coastline in Ilocos that has been weathered away by the battering of the restless sea. Somehow, the persona of the poem is able to relate it with one's situation in life. The theme of this work is the underlying restlessness of life itself and the search of the soul to find a type of spiritual permanence within its turmoil. Full of beauty and imagery, this poem embodies a poetic sentiment of a seeker contemplating their existence within.